My name is Pastor Darrell Hayden, and it's my privilege and pleasure on behalf of the High Street Christian Church to welcome you here today. We are delighted to have you with us to participate and to share in our worship service. Thank you for your connecting. Your connecting to be here serves as a reminder to all of us just how important our work is. Our mission is to serve and surrender to God. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for his mercy endureth forever. Church, one of my Christian brothers and sisters, it's a pleasure to be with you today. It's always good to be in the house of the Lord. Let's give thanks to him for bringing us here together to give praise, honor, and glory to him and to Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, we give thanks, O oh Heavenly Father, that you gave us the strength to rise this morning, O oh Heavenly Father. You gave us the spirit of life, O oh Heavenly Father to come before you to give praise, honor, and glory to you. We give thanks, so oh dear Lord, that you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, O oh Heavenly Father, to this world. Your only begotten Son, O oh Heavenly Father, you loved us enough, O oh dear Lord, to have him come before us, to sacrifice him, O oh Heavenly Father, so that we may walk down the path of righteousness, O oh Heavenly Father. Dear Lord, you sent him to this world, and he was put to death by humans, O oh Heavenly Father sent to the grave, O Heavenly Father, but you rose him from the grave, O dear Lord, brought him from the depths of hell, Heavenly Father, 
ascended him to your side, Heavenly Father, so that he can be the mediator for us, Heavenly Father, between you and him. Dear Lord, we give thanks that you have blessed us with that, Heavenly Father. Dear Lord, oh Heavenly Father, I just pray for love and peace and understanding amongst us all, Heavenly Father. Don't let Satan rule, Heavenly Father, and, and, and lead and to cause destruction, oh Heavenly Father, and dissent and deceit among us, oh Heavenly Father. Let us all recognize that we are all one race, oh Heavenly Father, the human race. That we are all brothers and sisters, oh Heavenly Father, under your grace. Let us continue to, Heavenly Father, to love and understand one another as you would have us to be, oh Heavenly Father. Dear Lord, I pray for those that are sick, oh Heavenly Father, because of the virus, oh Heavenly Father. Those that have lost loved ones because of the virus, Heavenly Father, just be with them and comfort them in these days, oh Heavenly Father. I pray for those that are on the front lines, the doctors and the nurses, oh Heavenly Father, and those that are working hard, oh Heavenly Father, to keep us, oh Heavenly Father. Dear Lord, just be with those families, oh Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, I just pray and give thanks for all that you've done for us, for all that you've blessed us with, oh Heavenly Father. Dear Lord, for without you, we would not be, oh Heavenly Father. Thank you again, oh Heavenly Father. Just be with our leaders in the community, oh Heavenly Father. Be with our leaders in the state, oh Heavenly Father. Be with our leaders in the country, Heavenly Father. Dear Lord, again, we give thanks for the many blessings you've bestowed upon us. And we ask that you just be with Pastor Hayden this day, oh Heavenly Father. Let your Holy Spirit reign in this place, oh Heavenly Father. Let your Spirit be with him to deliver the message, oh Heavenly Father, that we may take it and apply it to our lives, oh Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, just give thanks, praise, honor, and glory for you bringing your word to us today, oh Heavenly Father. chapter 20, verses 1 through 13. 
And it reads, Then came the children of Israel, even the whole congregation, into the desert of Zen, and in the first month. And the people abode with Kadesh, and Marion died there, and was buried there. And there was no water for the congregation. And they gathered themselves together against Moses and against Aaron. And the people showed with Moses and spake and saying, Would God that we had died when our brethren died before the Lord? And why have ye brought up the congregations of the Lord into this wilderness? That we and our cattle should die. And wherefore have ye made us to come up out of Egypt to bring us into this evil place? It is no place of seed or of figs or of vines are of pomegranates, neither is there any water to drink. And Moses and Aaron went from the presence of the assembly unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And they fell upon their faces, and the glory of the Lord appeared to them. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, Take thy rod, and gather thou the assembly together, thou and Aaron thy brother, and speak ye unto the rock before their eyes. And it shall give forth his water, and they shall bring forth to them water out of the rock. So thou shalt give the congregation and their beasts drink. And Moses took the rod from before the Lord, as he commanded him. And Moses and Aaron gathered the congregation together before the rock. And he said unto them, Hear now, ye rebels, must we fetch you water out of the rocks? And Moses lifted up his hand, and with his rod he smote the rod twice. And the water came out abundantly, and the congregation drank, and their beasts also. And the Lord spoke unto Moses and Aaron, because ye believe me not, to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel, therefore ye shall not bring this congregation into the land which I have given them. This is the water of Meribah, because the children of Israel strove with the Lord, and he was sanctified in them. May we all be blessed by the readings and hearing of God's word. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now I have a song selection by Sister Carolyn.
Moses himself was almost in the place where God would have him to be. You ever been in a point of position where you see your breakthrough almost come through and it looked like all of a sudden everything falls apart? Well, here were the children of Israel. They had forgotten that, that this wasn't the first time that they were without water, but this was the second time that they were at a place of crisis. Let me tell you, God always shows up in the midst of crisis. Somebody ought to say amen to that. God always appears in the midst of crisis. God always takes us through our valleys and our death. God always takes care of his children. Hallelujah, somebody. God is always there. The problem comes is that we're not always with God. Somebody ought to hear me today. We're not always in God's presence. We're not always walking with God like we ought to walk with God. Yeah. Two things was going on here. First thing, the children of Israel had forgotten where God had brought them. Yeah. So what they did, they started to rebel against leadership. They stopped coming against Moses and Aaron. They started attacking them, if you will. They had forgotten where God had brought them. They had forgotten who had really kept them along the way. So somebody, you know how we are. We want to put the blame on somebody. Y'all know we're not having court day this year? Guess who I'm going to blame? I'm going to blame the man. Forget the COVID. It's the man's fault. We ain't having, we ain't having a court day this year. We always had court day. What kind of man is this? Call off court day. That's a tradition. You have forgotten that we're in the midst of a pandemic. We're in the midst of calamity. We're in the midst of a storm. We're in the midst of, of, of things going wrong. And what we're trying to do is what the man's trying to do is to preserve life. Yeah, yeah we're in the midst. We're in the midst of things not going as usual. We're in the midst of things coming apart. We're in the midst. The children of Israel were in the midst, and this wasn't the first time that this has happened, but the second time. And so they came against Moses and Aaron. Well, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they came against them. And, and here's the thing. Moses would have done all right if he'd kept the faith. Because see, what God really did for him, when he fell down on his face, him and Aaron fell down and prayed to God. When they really lay prosperous before God, guess what? God was giving them the power to overcome. So what that really means, you can't let the Sioux say or those who second guess, those who are in second chair, or those who are out there, come in and separate us from the love of God. Hear me this morning. But there's power in believing and believing in God and trusting in God. Psalms 121 and 1 through 5 says this. Come on, Sister Patricia. I will lift up my eyes I will lift up my eyes unto the hills, from which cometh my help. Stop right there! I will lift up my eyes unto the hill, which cometh, knowing that all my help, all of my help, not some of it, but each and every day, I know all my help comes from God. I don't know about you, but every day since this pandemic has started, I've been trusting God more and more and more every day. When they fell face first, Moses and Aaron, they fell and they started looking to the hills. I don't know about you, but you have to trust. You have to get in a position where God can hear you. Come on, sis. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. 
He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Stop right there. He said, he's reminding us. He said he will not let nothing happen to us. Because he's always with us. Moses and Aaron had it all in their hand. They had the power of God. Yeah. Said the whole congregation that went against them. Everybody had turned their backs on them. You ever had your friends and family ever to turn their backs on you? But realizing that all your help comes from the Lord. Yeah. Said they do, that he doesn't slumber. He's always attentive to all of our needs. He's right there with all of our needs. He's on point when we need him the most. You don't have to wonder, does he hear me? He hears us. You don't have to wonder if you're online or not. He's always online. You don't have to wonder if he's going to show up. He's always there. Yeah. Come on. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy shade upon the right hand. Yes, he keeps us. Thank you. He keeps us. He keeps us in such a way. And Moses and Aaron, when they came out of there, after they had dealt with their congregation the first time, and when they came out of there, they knew this. Oh, they had this reassurance. That God was with them. Church, let me remind you today that God is with us. No matter how bad it looks, let me remind all of us today that God is with us. No, no matter where it looks, no matter where we're at in life, God is with us. The children of God, God is always with us. Yeah, yeah. Understand that the children here was thinking that not just them, but but their livelihood was gone. But God's got us. Yes, he God's got us. Mm -hmm. Then He told Moses. He gave instructions. How many you know when He gives us instructions, we have to follow them. Everybody knows I'm a fast driver. <laughs> Everybody knows. But I stay my distance from other cars. And if I have a stop, a yield, I stop and I yield. I don't run through red lights. I stop. If I park in a parking spot, I pay my meter bill. But I got a heavy foot. The chief don't use that against me. Yeah. I'm subject to come down Maysville Road and when it's 35 and go 50. True. But I'm not going to run over top of nobody coming down. If it's a car up in front of me, guess what? I'm going back to my 35. <laughs> Moses did the same thing here. God gave Moses instruction. He said, speak to the rock. He gave him the rod to show power. Because, see, the, the rod that, that he gave him was a rod that had already done miracles before. He didn't tell Moses to hit the rock with the rod. He told him to speak to the rock. How many of you know that you got to follow instructions? I understand if I get caught going down Maysville Road and, and doing 50 and get caught, that I got a ticket coming. Now, y'all know like I know, if I get caught next week, it was entrapment. 
But Moses had instructions. God told him to speak in front of the congregation. Let me tell you what God does when we follow. His mercy is everlasting. When we follow his instructions, his mercy is everlasting. Sister Green, read Psalms 40, 8 through 11 for us. His mercy. I would like to be thy will, O oh my God. Yea, the law is within my heart. I have preached righteousness in the great congregation. Lo, I have not refrained my lips. O oh Lord, thou knowest. I have not hid thy righteousness within my heart. Stop right there. I haven't hid nothing from you, God. And see, God was speaking to him and told Moses, said, said when you get in front of the congregation, Speak to the rock. Why? Because God's power is everlasting. Instead of Moses trusting God for himself. Because see, God does exactly what God said he'll do. Can I get an amen? amen. Had he always showed up on time for you? Had he always brought you through and not you, even your family, in the time of crisis? That righteousness is hid in my heart. God always shows up. His mercy is everlasting to everlasting. We have to declare his faithfulness. Yes. Moses was forgotten. Even himself, the children of Israel, had sinned in doubting God. Now here comes Moses himself. Come on, Sherry. I have not concealed thy love kindness and thy truth from the great congregation. Withhold not thy tender mercy from me. O oh Lord, let thy love kindness and thy truth continually preserve me. He forgot to call on God and to hear from God. Let me tell you what we do. We try to put things in our own hands. But we have to trust God totally. And even if people are talking about us and talking against us. That's right. I understand Moses probably had some fright in his heart if he didn't bring water out of this rock because God told him that. But we have to trust God. We have to trust God. Moses cut his own self off from getting to the promised land. Moses sinned against God. God was with Moses. But we have to be in the will of God. We talked about this yesterday in our Sunday school class. Sister Patman and Reverend Carr was talking about how we have to be in the will of God. We have to be in the God's presence. And then that when being in the will, we have to follow his instructions. Because God is with all of us. But we cut ourselves off from God. Here where Moses had sinned because he did not follow the instructions that God had laid out before him. Don't you know that's what's happened today? People might have good intentions, but they don't follow instructions. Who? 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 Your intentions might be good, but we all have instructions that we have to follow. Moses cut himself off. Not that Moses wasn't a good leader. Because Moses was a good leader for that time. But Moses couldn't see it for himself.
because he didn't follow instructions. He did not follow what God told him to do. Church, don't come to church all your life and serve God all your life and not follow God's instructions. One of them is he told us to love our enemies. To do good to them that don't do good to you. <coughs> he told us and he reminds us each and every day that we have to follow instructions. I don't know about you, but I want to see God. Amen, somebody. I want to see God for myself. I don't want to miss God because I refuse to follow instructions. Because here's the thing. Here's the source. And I'm through here. Here's the source of all that Israel needed was the rock. Somebody say the rock. The rock. Come on here, Deacon. And, 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 and the thing is, when you when you got the rock on your side, whoo, have mercy. Not just the physical rock, but the spiritual rock. Have mercy, somebody. Let me tell you what the rock will do. The rock will hold you. Come on here, you better read. The rock will hold you when you cannot hold yourself. Yes, it will. The rock will keep you in your midnight hour. Supply all your needs. Yes, sir. The friend to the friendless. Come on, Deacon. The rock. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea and did all eat the same spiritual meat and did all drink the same spiritual drink. Stop right there. Everybody who believes drinks from the same Hello. Same rock. He supplies all I need. Everybody who's a believer now. I'm not talking about those who don't follow instructions. Because see what the word tells me. That he will keep me and never leave me. That all I have to do is step out there and trust God. Don't have to be frightful of nothing. Said they drunk from the same drink and ate from the same meat, the spiritual meat. Some of these nuts think they got a different Bible. It's the same Bible we all got. God loved you on the right, He loves me on the left. Somebody ought to hear me today. He loves us all the same. Black, white, yellow, green, purple, it does not matter. And what I love about God, he treats us all the same. Nick, why don't you finish that scripture? For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. The rock was Christ. I don't know what you're f following after, but you need to follow after Christ. Yeah. Amen, somebody. Yeah. You don't have to walk in my shoes. All you have to do is treat me like you want to be treated. That's instruction. Treat my children like you want your children to be treated. Yeah. 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 Come on, here, come to. Yeah. Yeah. 
is something about Christ being the rock. Amen. You ever tried him for yourself? Amen. Not what somebody told you, but for yourself. Understanding that that rock is Christ Jesus. Yeah. The one that we can go to. The one that keeps us in our very time of trouble today. Amen. Amen. Yeah. 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 Isn't that good news? Isn't that good news? That rock is Christ. Yeah. 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 It can put things that come against you in this place. Amen. Amen. Amen.
trust and believe that he can do anything but fail in all of our lives. Shall we pray? We thank you, Lord. We honor you today for all your many, many blessings that you've given to us. Your mercy is sufficient. Not because we've done everything you assigned it for us to do, but your grace will bring us through. So, Father, we just thank you and praise you. We honor you for being a doctor in the sick room. We honor you today for keeping our families safe from hurt, harm, and danger. Father, we know that you're with us every step of the way. So, Father, we lean and depend on you. We ask that you go by Linda Ashby's house and bless her and her family, her sons, and her grandson. Ask that you be with Jamil today. Ask that you be with Sister Norma Patton and Keith Lewis today. Sister Juanita Older, her family today. Thank you, Lord. Be with the Walker family. Be with Sister Daisy Jewett and her family today. You're an awesome God. Be with Carolyn and her sister today, her grandson and her daughter today, her son. Bless her grandchildren. She honors you today. So, Father, we ask that you bless that house. Not her house only, but all of our homes. Be with the mayor today. Give him wisdom and understanding. Give him your knowledge today. Be with the chief of police today. Even in the time of darkness, that he has to stand for the right. Be with all those who are protesting today. Be with our country. We want to please you, Lord. We want to honor you. For you still reign. You reign in our hearts. You reign in our homes. You reign everywhere we go. We lift you up today, Lord. Be with our children.
God is simply amazing. Simply amazing. Simply amazing. He answers our prayers. How I many you know he knows exactly what we're going to be going through? And all we have to do is trust him and believe. All we have to do is stay in his will. Oh, it's hard sometimes. But we just have to stay in the will of God. service and that is the Lord's Supper. Before I do that, I do want to recognize the mayor and the chief of police being with us today. Amen. 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 Thank God for your presence Amen. here with us today. Amen. So we, we honor God in this place for all of his many wonderful blessings he continues to do for us and through us. And we ask that he Amen. continues to keep uh, law enforcement and and the government here in Mount Sterling, and not just here, but unrest all over our country. Amen. And that, that we acknowledge that uh, God will take care of this as well. Amen. We come to the most important part of our service, and that is the Lord's Supper. It's not ours to say, who shall and who shall not take of this image. For it was the Lord who laid down his body and gave his blood so that you and I might have the chance to the tree of life. On the night Jesus was betrayed, he gathered his disciples around him. He took the bread and gave thanks. He took the cup and gave thanks. He said, as often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. We as believers find strength in the body and the blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. As Elder Frazier, give thanks for the Lord. For the cup. We thank you for all that he's done for us. Oh Lord, our oh Lord, excellent is our name in all the earth. We come before thee once again. <coughs> thank you for the many blessings you've stored upon us. Thanking you for keeping your arms around us each and every day. Thanking you for the words that have been brought up to us this day. Pray, Lord, it will fall on fertile ground. Sure, Lord, our pastor goes in there before us each and every day. Pray, Lord, you give him strength and he continues to work on building up the kingdom. Bless his family as well. Bless Minister Reverend Carr and his family. Continue to strengthen him as he continues to work for the building of thy work. Holy and righteous. Kingdom. But Lord, we stand here especially thanking you for the opportunity to gather around this table. Remember our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ that gave us life by the right to tree of life. We ask you to bless this loaf, his body, and make us worthy to receive. 
the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. In the other room, Jesus took the cup, passed from the disciples, and said, This cup of New Testament is my blood. Do this in remembrance of me. And often drink of this cup, you show for my death and suffer until I come again. This is my prayer for Christ's sake. The body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and they all ate together. The blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and they all drunk together. Then after supper, they sung a hymn and went out. Now in the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, rest from the Bible with all of his children. Now and forevermore, let all God's children say, Amen. Just to remind everyone, we have until October the 5th to make sure that we're registered to vote. So I encourage everyone to make sure you're registered. And on November the 4th, make sure you go out and do your civic duty and vote. It doesn't matter which party or which affiliation, it's just important that you go out and vote. If anyone needs help or assistance, I'm here to help. I've sent some information out uh, on our Facebook page that can give you information and tell you what you have to do to register what you have to do to change the register, and even how you can go and look up all the political candidates and the issues and stuff. So again, I strongly encourage you, make sure you're registered and make sure you vote. Be blessed. <laughs>